12 top poker players from every span of the globe. They've rifled and riled for an entire league season, and now the end is near. The final table set, but who will be crowned Premier League champion? Twelve Premier League players have been reduced to just six. The final table. Will it be Phil? Class of the season, but does he have the bottle to seal the deal? Could it be Eddie Sharp? The Germans got two WSOP bracelets and would love to add the Premier League. The Finn, Yuha Helpy, steady like a rock and flying. E in the Razor Fraser showing British blood can play this game, and with his record, who disputes? Little Liz Lou, small in stature, but a wolf at the table, and surely a force at the end. And rounding things off is the teacup Vicky Corin, an army of supporters and nice in her veins. Looking at the league standings, 12 games were played, and these points translating to chips on the final table. Hasn't Helmuth been the class? Four wins, and that's translating to his chip lead, but Scharf helped the in Fraser not too far behind. It was extra work to get to the final table in the playoff zone, and Les Lou knocked out Kenna James in a heads-up match, Vicky Corrin snatching victory and eliminating Andy Black. At the bottom four, Garasimov just missed out by virtue of the tiebreaker, and Devilfish, what a great fight he put up at the end. I'm Jesse May, thrilled to be joined this evening by both Tony G and the Devilfish, Dave Olliott. Now, you guys have either watched, played, or bet on every league match in this uh, tournament. Tony, who do you think is going to win the final table? My pick is Victoria Corrin. I want her to win. She's the shining light, the brightest player out there. Go, go, Vicky. Devilfish, we know that uh, Phil Helmuth is a chip leader. You're one of the few players who had any success trying to stop him. What do they have to do? You know, Phil's holding all the aces in the pack here. I mean, he's got all the experience and he's got the chip lead. They have to mix it with him, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping Fraser wins. You know, he's a big friend of mine. I've been spending some time at his house and stuff. He's looked after me. I want him to win. But, you know, Phil's got all the experience, all the chips, everything's in his favor. They've got to mix it with him. They've got to get him upset. They've got to get him talking to me through the glass. <laughs> you know, I'm ready. I'm ready to answer him if he talks to me. Yeah, I mean, he's also got the big mouth. And, you know, Tony, you and, uh, and Devil were the only ones who really gave the stick back to Phil. Who's going to be left to fill that void? I think Yuha could take Phil on. I think Yuha has, has the, the needle for him, and I think he wants to beat him. The World Series in the final, I think Phil Helmuth kind of beat him off a bit. So Yuha really wants to beat him. I think Yuha can go after him tonight. Well, it's six players on this final table, so let's have a look at how many chips they're starting with. Chips mean power, and Helmuth has it in spades with 350,000 in chips starting out. Eddie Sharp not too far behind with 310,000. And it's very tight for Helpy and Fraser, 260 and 250 respectively. But Liz Liu and Vicky Korn better get a move on early. Here come the six reservoir dogs for the final table, one of whom will be the Premier League champion. Ian Fraser waiting for the ladies to sit down before he takes his own seat. And Devilfish, how do you think the seating positions at this table are going to affect uh, what's going to happen there? Who's got the best seat? Well, the first thing, I, uh, I think uh, Phil almost got the best seat. He's got the two ladies on the blinds when he's on the bottom. It's a great seat to have. Guys like Eddie Scharf and Yuha Helpy, Tony, uh, have they been underrated or overlooked, perhaps? They definitely have, and they're, they're great players, especially Yuha. Yuha, Yuha, he has a huge chance here. And he's the dark horse, the definite danger to Phil Helmuth. You have shown an ability to adapt to whatever structure is thrown at him, more cards are dealt. But uh, Eddie Scharf will have to see the chips. There's new chips. Those green chips worth 10,000 each. The yellow's worth one, the blue's worth two, the red's worth five. I think there's 1.6 million in play. Tony, has anyone looked nervous to you in the green room? 
I think that Vicky's nervous, definitely, and uh, I, I think Eddie Sharp's a little bit nervous. So he needs he needs a good hand early on like this. Couple of jacks put him right on a board. Phil, Phil's fell the nest. No one's brought the green chips into play, and Helmut's studying. Uh, it's very very tense out there right now. Some they just want someone to go out. I wonder if Helmut views Eddie Scharf as a man who he can take off Belfish, a hand. I better pick on the German. <laughs> I know he has something. I don't think he can call it a race. Raise it up a little bit. Oh, <laughs> big mistake. He's wrong, Fish. A big He's mistake. Got to pick on the German. Pass. I don't think he can call it a re-raise, Fishy. A lot of pressure on the German. How can he handle it? Uh, he's got a re-raise here. He has to re-raise here. I mean, these stacks are so deep, aren't they? Scharf could stick a re-raise in, and it's still only half a bet. Yeah. I'd see him calling as well. There's no, no, he could call this. He could call this. He could call it, but he's out of position, and on Elmer's got the bottom. I, I'd sooner take it down now with two jacks. Later. I think he's got, Eddie's got to make it another 60 or so. Re-raise. That's the move. That is the play. 60,000 more. There what if Elmer slips over the line here? No, could he? Elmer's going to throw this in the dustbin now. Guaranteed. Helmut knows that Eddie Sharp has been very tight and very solid, and there's no no moves left now. I'm gonna have to get Eddie second or first out today, Fishy. Mark my words. <laughs> second or first out, I'm gonna get him. Yeah, that's like the white flag going up. I'm gonna do Fishy. I don't know if Eddie should have just sat see. back. You'd want two hands with the best hand. We're gonna play. <laughs> Eddie Sharp. Absolutely Maybe solid in the face Maybe of the helmet re-raise. And the helmet said he had a read on Sharf. Was he just wrong or was he being serious? No, he was just trying to talk uh, Eddie off the pot. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, Eddie was out of position. If he had a strong hand, if he wasn't so strong, he would have thrown it away. And Eddie Sharf has taken control. He's got the chip lead. Yep, yeah, he's 5,000 clear. We're giving you the chance to win a trip for two, including flights and accommodation to Europe's gambling capital, Monte Carlo. To enter, just answer the following question correctly. Which of the following is the highest ranking hand? A, two pairs, B, a flush, C, a straight. To enter, go to www.channel4.com forward slash poker. The competition closes on 31st of August. Welcome back to the final day. table of the PartyPoker.com Premier League Poker. Do you ever wake up in the morning and think, I'm so glad I'm not a man? <laughs> <laughs> I know I am. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'll tell you, one person who hasn't said one word is Ian Fraser. Yeah, Ian Fraser is just concentrating on the job in hand. He knows what's going on, he knows what's happening. He's going to get his money in there with the best of it, probably. And he's also in a shell right now. Well, Phil's oh, got an ace again, but he, you know, it's, it's not a big ace. He's lost confidence, has he, Devilfish? Yeah, what do you think? He's just calling now. He don't. He's gonna. Say, he's trying to settle down a little bit. He had the worst hand again here, so. And the shell well, man, he's out of his shell. Oh. Well, look at this. Uh, I almost flopped to three, and Fraser just flopped to ten. And you has flopped to three. Check. Yeah, uh, what's Fraser doing? Here? Don't give him too many cards, buddy. These guys catch. They've all checked They've all around. Che oh, there's the diamond. Now we're going to get a bit of action. Phil's got the pair of diamonds. Mm -hmm. If the check to him, we will bet this, I think. And, and help, he's got two pairs as well. Yeah. And oh, is Ian played this week? 6,000. Yeah, Ian's, Ian's thrown this pot away. I didn't like the way he played this. What can Mr. Poker do oh. here? Just hope for the diamond? I don't know. Ian, Ian, Ian has to throw yes. this away now. Oh, Ian's raising it. Oh, what's oh, going on here? Well, I'll tell you what. You have probably put this 5-3 down. And and and, uh, oh, and, and Fraser's a big favorite again, uh, again, Elmo. So this isn't a bad play. Can you have fold his hand right now? I he think so, with Fraser raising. Well, what should you have be thinking here? I mean, there's a straight there. There's a flush there. He's got two pairs, two small pairs. I think he can throw this away. Is there any way he can work out what these guys have? Well, he's probably put Phil on the diamond draw. Uh, probably the race of diamonds or the king of diamonds. Pass. 